Thanks for staying here. Now, pressure is beginning to mount on quasi government health facilities three weeks after public sector workers declared a strike. Last week, government directed the public to seek treatment at these facilities as part of measures to cope with the health care crisis. Join News' Matilda Fumaga reports these hospitals and clinics are beginning to crack under uh, the pressure of increased patient intake. As the doctor strike rages on, government has issued a list of quasi-public health facilities, which it says are still offering services. It, however, turns out most of the facilities are small and in no position to accommodate the magnitude of cases the much larger facilities can handle. Authorities at the Ghana Post Clinic, for instance, says they are being stretched due to the limited resources and the lack of personnel to handle some cases. Clinic Administrator Naba Badurana III adds, the facility does not run a 24-hour service. Uh, the place is becoming congested in the mornings and sometimes it's quite disturbing. Uh, the big challenge now is that um, the resources to, to buy drugs and even cleaning materials. You know, a lot of people come here, they vomit and you need cleaning materials, you need a whole lot of disinfectants and it's not easy we are bringing locum doctors to work here and <laughs> you know How many doctors do you have here uh, we have one full-time medical doctor and then the physician assistant but we bring uh, uh, another um, locum doctor to to help and you know and we have only just two consultant rooms you know and that is that is a challenge the, the space is actually a challenge and a whole lot of issues and you know we go to the market we don't get subvention yes so you, you don't, don't get subvention from government so how do you manage all this really it's a it's a very big challenge for us it's a very big challenge for us you know sometimes they look at quasi government health facilities in general but we are different 37 military hospital police hospital are part but they are being paid by controller we are not sub, I mean, sub, I mean, uh, supported in any way. We go to the open market to buy our drugs, and as I said, we bring local doctors, we have to pay them rate. We bring local nurses, we have to pay them rate. And you know, so the, the resources are very limited. And if National Health normally delays in paying, as they, you know, it's always done, going to buy drugs, we have problems because the drugs we go to buy on credit, the people will be on our heads. So with more and more clients coming, they are virtually draining our, our, our small stocks, the drugs that we have, and yet, you know, so it's a, it's a big challenge. The much larger and better equipped Trust Hospital is also struggling to deal with the numbers, though authorities say the cases haven't yet gone beyond what they can handle. Head of OPD, Perpetua Megashi, however, says if the numbers keep soaring, they will have no beds for the patients and may be compelled to refer them to other hospitals. The emergency don't really have enough beds. We have currently, it's a 50-bed capacity hospital. And uh, so it means that we are really overstretched. But like I'm saying, we'll, we'll facilitate facilitate all the needed cares that their clients need. We try to give them the best of care, quality care, so that their speed uh, recovery will also be fast. And, and then we give them short appointments to come for reviews. We only refer when a facility don't have bed to accommodate. The other facilities such as Coco Clinic, SIC and GCB Clinic say they have also had their outpatient department choked in the last few days. Meanwhile, though many of the facilities accept the NHIS cuts, the same many of the patients are unable to afford the other associated cost, a situation they described as worrying. Matilda Pomaga, for Joy News, Accra. Well, we'll stay on the subject of the doctor's strike and a news just coming in. Government has directed heads of public hospitals to resume full range of health care service uh, delivery by Wednesday, 19th August and by Thursday. Doctors who do not report to work will, will be declared or considered to be on strike and, and in breach of the labor law. And this, this was made known at the news conference being uh, underway by the health ministry. We'll bring you more on that 
uh, later on. But let's move on to some other uh, stories now, also within the health sector. Some trained nurses have been picketing in Accra, demanding placement by government. The nurses numbering about 150 say they are yet to be assigned two years after their graduation. Redwan Karim Dini Osman has more. The trained nurses marched from the premises of the Mental Health Authority to the sector ministry to find out why two years after their graduation, they have not been posted. The group, including some psychiatric nurses, said their action has become necessary after several failed attempts to have their concerns addressed. They lamented the delayed postings have made life extremely difficult for them since majority of them are breadwinners of their families. We've seen that clearly this government uh, needs constant pressure, and that's what we are going to do. Even before the first clearance was released, it, it was out of pressure. We are jobless. We don't have anything to go. I don't know whether they are telling us to go into a robbery or anything of that sort. Well, right now, we also have to get a job to look after our other siblings. As I'm talking to you now, I have relatives there, which their responsibilities are mine, and I don't know what to do. Day in, day out, I can't sleep. I'm going through a lot of psychological trauma because of no posting. We are tired. Our parents are always insulting us because you go to school and at the end of the day, you become a burden on your parents. So we can't stand that thing again. We can't stand it, so they should do something about it. Because for me, right, for me, for instance, I'm not ready to leave. I will sleep here. After waiting for hours, the public relations officer for the Ghana Health Service, Tony Goodman, emerged with some assurances for the nurses. <laughs> They, however, rejected the assurances. The ministry can communicate, <laughs> you know, but that, that information will sound very cacophonous, very unmelodic and unpleasant to our ears. And it will stimulate us to come and sleep here with mattresses. Because we can't wait to nest here. That one is an error. And that error is even wrong. We can't, we can't wait. And we want our clearance this week. We are not ready to be surprised again because we've been surprised. We plan having a demonstration. But we have to call it off because of the respect we have for the minister. He, he promised us and told us he's the man of his word. We gave him that respect. Then he, in fact, he, everything went futile. It's too bad. We just can't apprehend and comprehend it again. The trainees are mostly from Ankafo, Pantai, and Chifo Praso. Redwan Karim Dini Osman, Joy News, Accra. You're watching Joy News Desk. There's more to come here, including business and sports to stay.